am Mark and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So I forgot one person that Kamala is thinking about for vice president, and that's Tim Walls. So this is a new person to me, um, but uh, I'll tell you a tiny little bit about him. That I, There's just very little information in Wiki about the, the gentleman, uh, and then uh, we'll uh, do a, a draw on the card. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Well, here I am back again. And so today it's going to be Tim Waltz. So if you haven't seen him, um, I'll try to show him to you, but uh, this is Tim uh, Waltz. Uh, anyway, I'll read you a little bit what uh, he has on in Wiki and uh, we'll go from there. So his name is Timothy James Waltz and he was born uh, April 6, 1964. So that's like the same month and the same year as my youngest sister. That's interesting. He's an American politician, a former U.S. Army non-commissioned officer, and a retired educator who has served since 2019 as the 41st governor of Minnesota. A member of the Democratic Farmer Labor, uh, the Democratic Farmer Labor Party, the DFL, and he was a member of the United States House of Representatives, representing uh, representatives representing uh, Minnesota's first congressional district from 2007 to 2019. Tim Waltz. Um, let's see um, if it tells us anything in here. Born in West Point, Nebraska, he was in the uh, Army National Guard. Worked in agriculture, manufacturing, teaching after high school. He graduated from uh, State College uh, in uh, Minnesota. He moved to Minnesota in '96. And uh, before running for Congress, he served for 24 years, 24 years in the Army National Guard and as a social studies teacher. So uh, let's see his early life and education. Those things are usually kind of interesting. So he's married to Darlene Rose. Her uh, maiden name was Ryman, uh, R-E-I-M-A-N. And uh... oh, no, that was his mother. <laughs> So his mother was Darlene Rose and his father was James. Uh, so he has three siblings, uh, grew up in Valentine, Nebraska, uh, a very rural community. Uh, his father was diagnosed with lung cancer when he was in high school, so they moved to Butte, uh, Nebraska to be close to his parents' relatives. Uh, he has earned a Bachelor's of Science degree and a Master of Science in, in Educational Leadership from Minnesota uh, State University. And that's it. Uh, as far as uh, personally, him and his wife Gwen married in 1994. They live in Mankato, Minnesota, uh, before 20 years from moving to St. Paul with their two children upon his election as governor. And um, so that's, I mean, you can look him up on Wiki and see everything that I just told you. But uh, now we'll go ahead and do a quick draw, no pun intended, but a quick draw on uh, Tim Waltz for the uh, Kamala. Harris uh, vice presidential pick. So Tim Waltz, Kamala Harris, Tim Waltz on Kamala Harris's mind. Before we do that, let's have just a moment of meditation. Okay, Tim Waltz, what can the cards tell us about this fella as far as being on uh, Kamala's uh, mind? So Tim Waltz, let's, uh, let's do three cards to get us in the groove of Tim Waltz on Kamala's mind. Tim Waltz, as far as Kamala is concerned. So let's see. So the Hierophant, so this is government. 
um, you know, Hierophant is, is the structure by which a thing is, is uh, conducted. You know, it could be your local government, it could be your household, it could be the business that you're working for. But this is government. He's a governor. She's a VP. It's a very appropriate card to have pulled up here. Um, next card is materialism. So this is being chained to lesser intention, actually. And then the final card is strength. So for Kamala Harris, thinking about Tim Waltz, government um, uh, having been in the Senate for so long and now a governor, that's uh, significantly important to her because he comes out as a major arcana, the Hierophant. Um, the next thing here, though, is being tied to uh, materialism or maybe lesser intention. So this is not a good sign. And then the final thing is strength. Um, and so these are the things she would be considering for him. I still believe that if the candidate she's considering has one misstep out of three uh, places, then I think that that's going to be eliminated from her choice. And this uh, being tied to materialism, I think is valid. So let's see uh, what else we got here. And I've got to tell you, the longer these people are in Senate, I just feel like um, the more chance they've been on the take. I hate to say it, and I think it goes across the board from Republicans to Democrats to independents. You know, if, if you're in, in uh, big business's pocket, um, or you have a better chance of being in big business's pocket if you've been uh, on the Capitol Hill for some time. But let's see, is Tim Waltz going to be in her top five? And we'll do five cards to see about that. Two, three, four. Tim Waltz. Camo's top five. Let's see where we go with this. First card is uh, the Six of Cups. So this cups are emotional. Six of Cups is remembering how things were in the past. The next card up is the Queen of Cups. So more emotion and a very high card in that emotional field, the Queen. Uh, this is uh, thinking about Tim Waltz and Camo's top five. The next one is the Two of Swords. Um, which is, you know, having to make a choice. So that's appropriate. I wonder if he comes down to some of her final decision making. The next one is the star. So he comes up favorably. And the final card for Tim Waltz is a five, six, seven, which is illusion and delusion. I think he um, is cons a consideration for her in the top five based on this uh, harkening back to the past, uh, high emotional value, in the choice, in, in the elimination process, he's up there in the, among those who are being seriously considered. He is a star, and uh, there's some illusion and delusion involved here. I think he's not, uh, everything's not clear for her on him. Top three. Is he going to make it to the top three for Camo Harris? Is he going to be in her top three? Tim Waltz. So it's about Tim Waltz, but it's really about Kamala Harris's opinion and how far he makes it in her vetting process, her personal vetting process. Three cards. One, is he going to make it to the top three? Let's see what we have here. Um, here we have the five, six, seven, eight of wands. So eight of wands are lots of issues coming at you at one time. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. Hmm. Everything seems up in the air. Uh, the next one is the Emperor. He may have too strong of a presence for her. And the final is the Sun card. Is he going to make it into the top three? So... I'm going to say he makes it into the top three. With those three cards. Now... Is he going to be... Her pick? Is Tim Waltz going to be Kamala's pick for VP. We'll still do one card at a time up to three. First card, Seven of uh, Swords. So the Seven of Swords is, you know, not uh, a good place for him to be. Truth, justice, rules, and law. Uh, this is typically an abuse of power or a theft and betrayal. And we've got uh, several uh, Two Swords uh, left behind. Um, I'm going to say no. Next card, King of Swords. Oof. And the next one is Materialism. No, he's on the take. 
<laughs> I shouldn't say that. I don't know. That. I'm just telling you what the cards seem like they mean to me. So it looks like he's not going to be the pick for Tabula. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. Okay, so this is the Connolly Tarot by Peter Paul Connolly and Eileen Connolly. And this is, this is actually a son and a mother who did these cards. But these are very nice cards. You use all of them a lot. And uh, so the Connollys... Um, as a matter of fact, the mother's a PhD and is into parapsychology and all sort of things uh, spiritual. Um, and then, so she kind of conceived of this thing. Then she got her son, uh, who was born in 1964, but I guess by then he was a teenager. But she got him to design the cards, and uh, he's an artist today. So that's Peter Paul Collin. So, so these are pretty interesting cards. I love them. Let me show you how they look. They've just got so much color in them. Apparently he uh, sketched these out with colored pencils uh, before they became finished works of art. And I guess they're hanging in galleries somewhere on the West Coast, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. So these are beautiful. I love these cards. I mean, they're everything uh, you want to see in a typical, easy to read uh, tarot card. And I put them out like this so that you can take a look at them too. You know, everybody likes to see something different. And uh, maybe you haven't seen these cards laid out like that before. But um, that's those folks, the Connollys.